I another problem here. So this time, the simplifying to actually see the terms is going to involve that distributive property we talked about. All right, so this is going to be 3z plus. Now, you got to go ahead and distribute that 2 to the z plus 5. So let's go ahead and see if you know how to do that. If you haven't tried these problems, by the way, you might want to pause the video and give it a try now. Okay, so this is going to be 2 times z. 2z plus 2 times 5, and of course that's 10. So once I've done that, now I'm in a better position to see all the terms. Okay, and I'm looking for like terms. I see that 3z and 2z are like, so I can combine them, and I get 5z plus 10, and I'm done. Okay, so this is pretty much it. I mean, if you understand these two problems or understand the techniques or the principles, you should be able to do the rest of these uh, problems pretty successfully. So I always like to uh, suggest students try the problems before they see me um, go through them. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and tackle these two problems here. All right, so let's look at our first one. We have 2 times g plus 6 plus 4 times g plus 1. All right, so each one of these, I'm going to have to employ the distributive property, okay? Because I can't see the terms uh, the way they're written right now, okay? So let's go ahead and have you do that. All right, so this one's going to be 2 times g, 2g plus 2 times 6. Of course, that's 12. All right, now let's go and work on the second one. This is going to be plus 4 times g plus 4 times 1, which is 4. Okay, so now taking a look at what we have, we have to determine whether we have like terms. All right, so we can see that 2g and 4g are like terms. And then our numbers here, we can add them up. So go ahead and combine your like terms by adding those coefficients. 2g plus a 4g is 6g plus 12 and 4 and that would be 16. Okay, so pretty straightforward problem. And once you um, get the hang of this, really these, these problems won't, shouldn't seem